G'day and welcome to Vet Talk. I'm Brian Pickering. And I'm Kay Brown. And this is a place where we get to chat with all kinds of pet and veterinary experts about all the things that uh, matter when you love your pet and you want them to be happy and healthy, especially at this time of year, which is Easter. And g'day to Nadia Crichton from Pet Insurance Australia. Good morning, guys. Or good evening or good afternoon. (laughs) Depends when people are listening, of course. But they do have to be careful about a few things right over the whole Easter period. What is the pressing problem? Uh, The main problem that we see, and you guys will be aware of this, is chocolate poisoning. Um, It's that time of year where we normally have copious amounts in the house. And for a scavenging hound or a feisty feline, they could have a little nibble and end up in quite a bit of trouble. Mm. Look, there's some there's some wonderful, uh, we'll call them memes out there, graphics and whatever, of dogs spewing up yuck everywhere. <laughs> and, and it is a fact that it happens all the time. So what are the, some of the things we've got to do to, to kind of prevent this happening? Well, I think the number one thing is just to remember that chocolate is very toxic to dogs and cats. And so it's a good idea to make sure that you keep them out of reach. Remember just to pick up um, the Easter eggs, make sure when you do your Easter egg hunt after the Easter bunny's been that all the chocolate's removed from the backyard. Uh, just simple things like that. Just keeping it in mind, I think, that uh, and treating our pets as well over the Easter period, you know, ensure that you maybe you even develop a special treat jar just for pets and encourage your guests and your children to treat out of that jar and not with chocolate or any other, you know, yummy kind of festive delights that we indulge in this time of year. Also remembering, though, to remove those calories from your pet's diet or you might end up with a very healthy pet but quite round. (laughs) Well, I got lucky a few years ago um, that uh, my dogs didn't get sick because my my, uh, family had sent some Easter eggs with my nephew nephew, um, while he was visiting and uh, the the dogs got into his suitcase and ate the eggs, Easter eggs, um, foil and all. Mm. And it was just lucky that uh, we didn't have to rush them to the emergency vet. How many um, cases, I guess, does the um, Pet Insurance uh, Australia team see or claims do they get every year? Well, in 2016, there were just over a 1,000 for chocolate poisoning that came from our claims administrator. But you've got to remember the actual figures could be a lot higher because this only really relates to those dogs and cats that actually have pet insurance. So, you know, the danger of chocolate is really being unestimated by our pet lovers. Uh, And I think sometimes there's a lot of healthy, not healthy, uh, chalk drops and things like that that are available in the pet market as treats. So some people can be slightly confused that that kind of chocolate that is pet chocolate and chocolate for humans um, is completely different and human-grade chocolate will cause a huge amount of problems in your pets. Exactly, yeah, they're quite different. There's a there's a, um, a chemical essentially called theobromine which is in the chocolate and that's, uh, that's a real no-no for people. I guess the biggest thing is just doing stories like this where we just advise people because a lot of new pet owners probably don't even know it. It wouldn't even cross their mind. You know, it's like, oh, my dog loves chocolate. I'm sure he does, but uh, it's not going to be very good for him in the long run. No, most certainly. Look, I've talked to, you know, many children over my time um, being in the pet industry. We would go to pet shows and children would tell me that, oh, their dog's favourite treat in the world is red M&Ms. And you think, oh my golly. (laughs) So it's just that education of reminding all members of the family, regardless of what age they are, that chocolate is just a big no-no for our pets. And, you know, that to think around this time of year where there's, you know, you may have more flowers in the house like lilies or you might be jumping in the car with your pet um, or having lots of Easter egg treats, just to consider their safety because the last thing that you want to do over such an amazing weekend where you've got all this ample time with your family is to be sitting in a veterinary hospital absolutely terrified that your pet is very, very ill. Yeah, absolutely. And, of course, it's the dark chocolate that's even even worse, but any chocolate, all chocolates, and no, no. Now, look, moving on to uh, cats. Mm. What about cats? And uh, what are some of the, the dangers uh, presented to them over the Easter period? Uh, probably the lilies. That would probably be the biggest one. We get so many lovely bouquets and flowers and things, um, if you're lucky enough, from our, our beloved others. Hint, hint. Uh, sometimes <laughs> it's just worth checking that there's no lilies in there. And, you know, even check your yards if your cats are outdoor um, cats because the lilies can cause a huge amount of toxicity to cats. I remember hearing from uh, an emergency vet that uh, just eating a couple of um, petals can actually kill a cat. It, it affects the kidneys, doesn't it? 
Most certainly. And it can happen quite quickly. And look, it doesn't mean that you have to get rid of your lilies. I actually have a peace lily in my house. It's a beautiful peace lily I've had for many, many years that my children actually got me for Mother's Day. So when we got the new kitten, we we I really didn't want to give up my peace lily. But hey, we, we found a beautiful birdcage. We put the peace lily in a birdcage and we hung it up. And it looks amazing and everybody always comments about it. So I get to enjoy my beautiful peace lily. However, the cat is very safe. What a wonderful idea. We'll have to get a photo of uh, your cat and the uh, peace lily in the cage. Most certainly. (laughs) Thank you very much, Nadia. Have a wonderful and safe Easter. You too. That was Nadia Crichton from Pet Insurance Australia.